defensive player. Like yes, yourself. no. How, how does one kind of uh, grapple with, with a result like that and try and come back from that? Yeah, I think you just have to learn what you can from it and kind of move past it, right? You can't, you can't sit in it. So the theme this week has been improvement. And that's kind of what we focused on is like, what can we improve on from that match? What can we not let happen again? And how are we going to win this weekend? What are some of those things specifically that you guys have yeah. honed in on? Yeah, we've really focused in on our press. We've really focused in on our buildup on how we're going to get our outside backs high and wide and really use them in the attack and hopefully get the whole team up the field uh, so that we can have some more sustained attacks. And yeah, just being super aggressive and consistent in both our press and our build. And you guys get to come back home tomorrow to play. Yeah. What are you looking forward to for tomorrow's match? I love being I love being at our house. I think just the energy from our fans. I think we feed off of it, and we want to we want to do well for this, the state of Utah. We want to perform for them. So just another chance to play in front of our home crowd, and our girls can't wait. How do you go about building chemistry with Lauren? Lauren. Just like getting her yeah. first opportunities. Yeah. Special. No, Lauren's been great. She's been such a hard worker. Just wants to put her head down and and get to work. So I think just building, yeah, learning what she needs on the field for me and how I can help her. And then I think we're just going to progressively get better to better together. Um, but yeah, just encouraging her. She's a great player and she belongs out, out on the field. So just making sure that she feels that. How would you describe her as a player? I think hardworking, hard nosed. We said Lauren only has one speed and it's destroy. So she, uh, she'll do whatever it takes for sure. You have the most passes attempted for the team. Mm -hmm. What are you focusing on? Yeah. Yeah, I think I take a lot of responsibility in our build. I, I want to be the one that's really sparking the attack and getting us going. So I think my quality on the ball is super important and I know that I need to be better in that in that area. So I think just m using my vision on the field and trying to find our te my teammates in open spaces so that they can do what I know they can do. How do you and Poe as the two non-rookies on the back yeah. like go about Shepherding those guys in and yeah. sure that it's I think we've just talked about like communication, can't over communicate, right? And uh, like sell it. We talked a lot about celebrating the small moments this week. I feel like last weekend we got really wrapped up in the whole match and we got really like steady state, never really were like feeling the momentum or using it in our quality. And I'm like, if, if Liv makes a great tackle, I'm going to make sure she knows that I'm behind her and I'm supporting her. And I think that that's great. So I think Poe and I just know that. These young girls need the support that we have to give them and that we need to keep encouraging and communicating as much as possible. But yeah, that's our responsibility too, for sure. What have you seen from Anna Dean this week? Yeah, she brings a load of experience, a load of quality. Um, I think just her calmness and her awareness in the midfield is going to be so helpful for us. We have a really young midfield too. So I think just, yeah, her experience, her quality on the ball, her overall calmness, I think will be really helpful for, for our midfield and our whole team.